What's up guys, welcome back to another exciting LumaFusion tutorial. I'm Rob HK and in this video we're gonna talk about the LumaFusion Dreamy effect. If you saw my previous video, which was the LumaFusion Dreamy cinematic video or something like that, this is similar to that. That was a sort of RGB look to the Dreamy effect. Today we're gonna make the Dreamy effect without any RGB, but at the end I'm also gonna show you how you can create your own RGB Dreamy effect. And I also wanna say I used Epidemic Sound for this video as well. So if you wanna try 30 days completely free to use any of Epidemic Sound's music, for free on your YouTube channel, you can click the link in the description below. That will also make you support this channel and it doesn't cost you a dime. Even though you sign up for a trial, I will get a small portion of I don't know something and in that way you can support this channel as well and it's 100% free for you and you can use some awesome awesome music sound effects whatever you want to use that they have on there you can use completely free make sure that if you use this trial and the trial expires and you upload a video using epidemic sound after your trial has expired you will get a copyright claim on your videos but you can use epidemic sound on your videos, upload them to YouTube. Uh, even though you have the uh, trial account, you will not get a copyright claim as long as you have a paid account or a trial account at Epidemic Sound. And also don't forget to subscribe and smash that bell and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. But now let's jump into LumaFusion and create some amazing dreams. Roll our intro. So to make this a dreamy effect in LumaFusion, we're gonna start off by finding a clip that we want to apply this effect to. About to leave, we're first gonna select our clip, then trim it down and drag it over to our timeline. To a place. And once we drag the clip over to our timeline, we can detach the sound if we don't want to use the sound in the clip. And once we detach the sound from the clip, we can either go into edit on the clip by tapping on this pencil right here or double tap on the clip. Once we get into edit on this clip, we're gonna start off by do some quick editing to the clip. So the first thing we're gonna do is to apply our desired LUT and then we're gonna add a color preset. We're gonna go with the original color preset. We're gonna edit this so it's a little bit desaturated, a little bit overexposed, and we want to maintain the skin tone. So we need to increase the saturation and decrease the vibrance. Once we have done that, we're gonna go over to the four squares, which you can see on top here, and we're gonna apply a vignette. We're gonna apply vignette number one. Bonnie and Clyde, a classic. And then we're gonna choose the intensity to negative one and the radius to 0 0.40. The next thing we're gonna do is to go down on the list and we're gonna find fog. Here you can Play around with the settings if you want to do that, but we're gonna choose a radius of 50 and the intensity of 60. This will allow us to create a little bit of fog on the image while we still maintain the video quality. So if we copy this clip and delete all the presets added to it, we're gonna take it on top on track number one and I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like with and without this dreamy effect. So on the bottom side, you can see the dreamy effect and on the top side, you can see the raw footage. But this is not the dreamy effect that we want to achieve. So what we're gonna do is to tap on the clip and then duplicate the clip and we're gonna take the duplicated part of the clip and drag over to track number two. On this clip, we're gonna go into edit and we're gonna change the scale. We're simply gonna change the scale to around 102. This will 
create an illusion inside of the video uh, so it looks like there is more depth to the video and we also need to make sure to change the opacity to around 50. If you don't change the opacity you will not get this effect so you need to make sure that you change the opacity to something around 40 and 60. The next thing we can do is to go into edit on the clip and go to color and effects and add a Gaussian blur. This Gaussian blur will help you create that dreamy effect and you don't need to apply it to every single clip but it's enough to apply to the bottom or the clip on the second track. The next thing we're going to do is to find some music for the video clips. So what I did was to go to Epidemic Sound and I searched for a dreamy uh, music or dream music and I found this track. You can also find unique and super awesome sound effects, music, whatever you need for your videos, your vlogs, tutorials, whatever you make in the description below by clicking on that link you will get a 30 day free trial where you can test out anything that Epidemic Sound has to offer. And I also forgot to mention that filming in 120 FPS to slow down your footage will really help you create this cinematic dream effect. So we're gonna slow everything down to one fourth of the speed and we're also gonna trim it down so it's not too long. And once we've done that, we can apply new clips to the timeline. And right away, you don't have to apply anything to these clips because we will copy the effect that we first created on the first clip that we added to our timeline. So once you applied all the clips to your timeline and detach the sound from those files, if you don't want to use them, we're going to go to the second clip that we imported and duplicate that clip. We also need to do that with the remaining clips that we added to our timeline. So we end up with two clips of each clip. The next thing we do is tap on the first clip on the timeline, either on track one or two, and we tap on this button and copy the effect. Then we go to the video file, which is next to that, either on track two or one, and we simply paste the effect to that clip. And you continue doing this process until you copy all the effects to the remaining video files that you apply to your timeline. And once you've done that, you can spice it up by adding some cross dissolve to the music and to the beginning of the two first files and at the end of the two last files. Too much of once you've done that, you will have something that looks like this. And you can now see that with this method, we created a sort of parallax effect and that dreamy effect. So to create an RGB lookalike dreamy effect, which you saw in my previous video, we're going to do the exact same thing. But what we do is we take the clip and duplicate that clip three times. So in total, we'll end up with four video clips. On the second clip, which is on track two, we go in and we change the opacity to around 40 and 50. And once we change the opacity, we also need to adjust the size of the clip so they overlap each other. You want one of the clips to be bigger or smaller than the other one to create this dreamy effect. And we do the exact same thing with the two remaining clips on track three and four.
The next thing we do is to go to the second clip, which is on track number two, and we go to color and effects and apply a color preset. Then we go down and we change the color tones. So you want the first one to be either red, blue, or green, and the next one to be one of the remaining colors, and the last one to be the last color. And once you apply that to all your clips and change the opacity, you will have something that looks like this. So this is how fast you can create this dreamy look to your videos. And even though if you choose to make the RGB look, it's still completely possible to make that with two extra video files on your timeline. Because LumaFusion now supports six tracks, as you may know. You can use a video file on track one and another video file on track two, and you can do some Luma fade transitions on the clip which you have on track two, and you can also apply four more tracks to create this dreamy RGB look if you want to do that. So thanks to LumaTouch for allowing us to have five, six tracks actually, and the 12 audio files in total if you take the audio from the six files you apply as well. The preset for this dreamy effect is going to appear in the 500 transition pack monthly update as well so if you have that pack you don't have to make it yourself if you don't want to because it will be in that pack and also it's soon time to release the glitch pack effect i'm going to talk a little bit about that in a different video maybe i do a whole video on that as well but i'm definitely going to make a tutorial which will be included in the pack as well which will be step by step maybe a little bit longer as well so i will apply that to the pack and in the next video that i make i will try to do some uh, comment answers as well and read some of your comments while I make the video, that's also a way for me to appreciate that you comment on my videos and you will also get some attention because your YouTube name will be on the screen as well. So make sure to leave some awesome comments, subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, smash that notification bell and I see you guys in the next video. Peace.